Hello everyone, Snipey47A here with some interesting bit of news. So this week, as you know, Cryptic released info about the new up-and-coming player potential system. In, and in that, they stated something very interesting, competitive PvE. And today on Triple, we've seen the first of these PvE missions to be released, and it's called Core Assault. I'm going to have to say that this is a lot of fun to play, and it's been really, really well designed. This mission pits two teams against each other through a series of objectives, and the pressure is on to complete them because you don't want to be the one, the team that comes second place to arrive at the final section. In that final section, when the two teams converge, the winner is the one that takes out the opposing team's reactor core first. But even if your team does arrive a little late um, to the core room, there, there is a twist here where you can turn the tables on the other team, but more on that in a moment. So, Core Assault is available in Normal, Advanced and Elite difficulties. It is set up in an enclosed area, and each team must go through a series of rooms with different objectives. Every time you play, um, the, there's a different sequence of objectives, and you must complete three of them to get to the Core Room. There are five different room objectives. There's Tractor Pull, Combination lock, Jack in the box, Relay, and Swarm. Now in tractor pull, the door is locked by two or three sliding locks that must be slid by a tractor beam and held in position. Just sliding the locks and leaving them after you've slid them up there um, won't do. The locks will just slide back into the lock position. That means that two or three players will have to be responsible for moving the locks and keeping them there while the door unlocks and the other two people will have to um, handle the NPCs. Combination lock is tricky and time consuming and an, I think an organised team here will struggle. Essentially the, um, uh, the unlock sequence is displayed on the door and the icons you need to activate are spread around the room. Choosing the right sequence will unlock part of the door and this must be repeated about three or four times. So I recommend the fastest ships in your team do this either solo or two person while the others draw threat from the NPCs. In Jack in the Box, the entire team must stay within the boxed area and attack, the, and attack the NPCs from there. The more of your team that can stay in the box, the faster the door will unlock. Relay, as the name suggests, each team member must carry a charge from the side wall to the main door. Once you have delivered your charge, you will start to glow red, which means you have done your leg of the relay. Every team member must complete this task to continue. And finally, Swarm. It's a good old fashioned pew pew room where um, the more NPCs you can destroy quickly, the faster the door will unlock. Now, once you have completed the room objective section of the mission, you arrive at the core room. Now, if you've arrived here first, get straight on to, on to destroying the other team's reactor, but watch out, it is guarded by NPCs. But, if you arrive together or after the other team, this is where team tactics and builds will come into play. You can open fire on the other team, and if you've arrived, Second, then you may just have to do this so it gives you time to catch up. Yes, this is an open PvP zone. What are you going to do? Are you going to split your team, take your whole team to destroy them first, or are you confident that your team can catch up wholly and solely? That's a choice you're going to have to make for yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I have played this about four times now, and my excitement for it continues to grow. It's very different to what we've previously had to play in this game, and it's, it will be interesting how the player potential system will work with it to balance the teams out. Thank you all for watching, guys, and expect this to come to Holodeck at the end of the month when the other Space Balance Pass changes arrive. See you later.